Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Pinball Help. What we've got here is a Williams Earthshaker machine. This one was pulled out of a guy's house. He had gotten it off eBay and uh, could never get it working. It sat around collecting dust, and he wanted it out, or his wife wanted it out. So we made a deal. This is really, this thing has been road wet and put up hard. So let's take a quick look at it. You're seeing it basically the same time that I'm seeing it. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that uh, my excuse is I'm giving you the real deal, the raw, unedited video. I'm not doing fancy cutting and all that. It's mainly just because I don't really have a good video editing setup, so I can't do it. So. But I'm going to say that it's because I'm trying to give you the real first look, you see what I see kind of thing. You learn along with me, you see the mistakes that I make. Hopefully, um, rather than me just lecture to you, here's the right way to do it, you might see me screw it up and then you'll really realize, okay, that was wrong. Anyway, the website's pinballhelp.com. What we've got here is this earth shaker. Um, I just pulled it out of my car, I picked it up. This is another situation where I've been wanting one of these machines for a while. I have a short list of machines that I particularly am interested in that I might not have played a whole lot, but I've played just enough that I really like them. And if the right machine appears at the right price, then I pop on it. And this is a situation where I really wasn't sure because this machine is really in bad shape. I don't go for super collector quality stuff. I, I get machines to be able to play them. And uh, this is definitely... A player's machine if I ever saw one. Um, so I have to get it at a super good price or else it's just not worth it. In this case I kinda crunched some numbers and thought how much would this machine be worth if I parted it out? That's about as much as I would offer. And uh, the buyer was willing to do that so you guys can leave some comments letting me know how much you think you would have paid for this. Um, and we can compare notes. So, first off, it looks like the front of this machine has been attacked by a team of wild, rabid weasels. I don't know what was going on here. I mean, it's just horrible. Look at that. And uh, we'll get to the inside later. But uh, I've noticed a few things right off the bat. The service buttons are messed up. Everything is filthy. The wood on the cabinet is just literally destroyed. There's no glass. Uh, the glass is broken. This machine sat around for a long time in some in the corner of somebody's house, and I, and I wouldn't call them the cleanest people on the planet either. And as you can tell, they have cats. There's hairballs here and there. I'm not convinced that there's any plastic that's not broken on here. But it's filthy, but I get, I, from looking at things, I don't see any horrible damage. This may be one of these machines when cleaned up, it's going to actually look pretty good. Um, there's mylar that's starting to come up. Uh, you can see it's clearly coming up in some areas, look right here. The nice thing is there's still no major wear on the play field. So it looks like it's been mylar most of its life. Broken plastics everywhere. Every time you turn around, there's something broken. Broken here, um, broken here. Uh, I don't. Again, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. By the time I get done messing with this machine, I'll, you know, I'll be able to say, "Oh, here's what you look for when you get an earth shaker." But um, that defeats the purpose of these videos. So, looking around, I see a really filthy machine that's been played a lot, 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 lot. But it appears to be relatively complete. You'll notice uh, the back glass is not there. I've got it in the back. I'm going to be putting some triple thick on it. That's going to be another video series where I um, chronicle what I'm doing to the back glass. So it's filthy. It's really filthy. Dirt's everywhere. When I tried to move this machine, I was, you know, standard procedure um, would be you know, detach the head and move them separately for these older machines. But uh, when I started to do that, I looked right here and I noticed uh, somebody had soldered wires onto the board, so there was no detaching the head. Um, 
but the game does appear to be complete. All the boards seem to be there. I haven't gone over everything. There's some interesting weird modifications like what is going on there? What is that? I do not know. It's like an entire trace burned off and somebody has replaced it. Um, bridge rectifier is really close to the bottom. I don't know. I don't know about that either. I'm not. I'm more of a WPC guy, so I'm going to be learning a lot about this as we go along. But it it looks to be complete. All the boards are here. Uh, I I pulled the batteries out. I pulled the batteries out um, on site as soon as we as soon as I opened the back box, and. Um, there doesn't appear to be any acid damage, which is good. So, this is just precariously up here. Let's take a look at the side of the cabinet. You can see this. I don't know how it got so scratched up, and the other side is even worse. It's it's pretty bad. But there doesn't appear to be any water damage. There appears to be just some flaking of. I guess this is it. Was was it a mylar thing, or is this just actually the paint? I don't know. And see, the back of it's kind of pretty beat up. This is a domestic machine. Doesn't appear to be an import, even though it looks like it might have been bouncing around in a container. Somebody has broken the clasp right here, so there's literally nothing holding the head on, um, except maybe those wires down there. Uh, it's going to be a little while before I even put power into this thing. I'm going to I'm going to go over it and clean it up pretty pretty heavily. And um, look at a lot of pictures online, compare, see what we've got. One thing I've heard is there's there was a there's a rarer version of this with where this institute thing goes up and down. This is not it. I can see just from this thing here that it can't go down. Um, I don't notice anything specifically missing, except I just notice everything is filthy. So I'm going to be uh, busting out the vacuum cleaner, cleaning it all up, assessing what the situation is with the mylar. Obviously, this all this mylar is going to have to come up. But I don't. One of the things I don't see is I don't see any real wear in the graphics of the playfield. I see just horrible amounts of dirt and dust. But what I don't see, I don't see a lot of rust, which is good. I um, I don't see any major wear in any specific areas. Uh, the things that I see that are broken are kind of obvious things, like the plastics here. So it's going to be interesting fiddling with this, cleaning it up, seeing what it looks like. Uh, we'll pull the play field up and look at that too. Once I secure the back box, I'm going to have to find some bolts and bolt that thing down. I don't want it falling over. So there's our first look at a Williams Earth Shaker. Now I did check to make sure the shaker motor is in there and all that and it, it does appear to be complete on the inside too. So can this thing be brought back to life? We shall see. I, don't, I do not even know how long it's been since it ever was turned on. Well, since it was last turned on, so we're going to find out. Um, obviously, if this thing ends up getting work, getting operational, it could be a pretty decent machine. The main thing to me that I look at is the cabinet. Seems to be kind of bad. So, stay tuned, and I will show you more at pinballhelp.com. Thanks for watching.